Guys, welcome back. Guys, welcome back. Couldn't you have done this on the toilet? Uh, I could have, but then you guys wouldn't be able to see me do it. So now you guys get to see me do it. I'm trying to get a haircut next week, so I'm trying to schedule my haircut. All right. I'm going to join this cubals. I had big hair once. It was nice. What happened to it? I just cut my... You cut your own hair and your own hair? Yikes. There should be a bathroom cam? Disagree. Disagree strongly, and I think you also disagree. Everyone involved in that disagrees. Guys, what are we taking here? Is this a stipulation? Are we doing stip? I don't know. You guys tell me. Send the stips over. Otherwise, I'm just taking this Karn. It's probably Karn. It is probably Karn. I do not know what to take, so I take it to Karn. Take all cards that have the word Muse in them. Wow. I'll take Karn. Karn is a solid boy. That's a thick boy. Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba I'm gonna take a Verdant Catacomb here, maybe? Hmm, maybe? None of these cards are super exciting for me. Go ahead, Daddy. What's going on, buddy? No, no one would use my name on MTGO. That's pretty comical. Yeah, no, that's hilarious. <laughs> Everyone asks me that. They're like, are you the real Frank Lamar? I'm like, dude, please. No one's going to actually copy my name and use it on Magic Online. That's ridiculous. Um... I'm going to take the Verdant Catacomb. It leaves us the most open. Not, nothing in that pack was really exciting to me. Old man, look. I kind of just want to do five color Planeswalkers again. That deck was a blast. We could take this Azorius Signet. It's also a Ral. I'm a big fan of Ral. Trostani, though. Yeah, well. Hmm. Could be Gruel Signet. Then we have Signets on four colors. Could be a Godless Shrine, too, that we can get with Verdant Catacomb. I think it's actually... Actually, one of these might come back. They can... They're can. they both very good. I'm going to take the Gruel Signet here. Oh, that's a Crater of Behemoth. Also a Scalding Tarn, a Breeding Pool, and Ugin. My god, look at these lands, dude. I feel like you aren't understanding how this Muse stipulation works. Hey, buddy, tell you what. Hmm. God, I really like the Scalding Tarn and the Breeding Pool. They're both very strong. Leave us so open. I'm gonna take the Ugin though. It's a it's an Ugin. Oh, flooded strand's good. That's great. Yeah, I'll take a flooded strand. Oh, rolling a die for each pick sounds like it could be problematic. Not not it's not unmanageable. It's just a lot of work. So we have Azorius and flooded strand, Verdant Catacomb and Gruel Signet. What do we take here? I feel like it's ruinous path. Double black is pretty, pretty something though. I just want journey to nowhere. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take the Ruinous Path. I think it's a stronger card. Look at my life, I'm a lot like you. That's a good song. Oh god, we are we are drafting Tron, I guess. This is the closest to Tron as you can get, right? Oh, a reflecting pool. Are you loving it? I also like Eldest Reborn. I feel like reflecting pool is where we want to be. That card is MVP in all these decks. Oh, I knew this. I actually knew this Soren would come back. Uh, I'm going to take the Soren. Actually, I'm having regret about the Eldest Reborn pick just because it. Uh, uh, we're just. We're, there's no stipulation here. We're just taking things. I'm just taking cool cards and having some fun. Like you do. On Battle Rights seems great, except for the fact that we probably won't have many creatures. I like Blade Splicer as like a dude. Hold Karn, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. Oh, Heroes Downfall and a Gideon? Wow. 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 I think because we have Runa's Path, we're going to take the Gideon. I think Gideon's probably better there. Oh, the Godless Shrine did come back. That's gas. Or a Signet would be nice, but... Oh, come on, Breeding Pool or Scalding Tarn. That might have been the previous pack, though. I'm not sure. Also, our entire deck is just black-white right now. Oh, the Breeding Pool! Which we can get with both Fuzz, Trenover, and Catacombs again. That's actually amazing. We can get both of our both of our lands with both of our lands. Nice. Eh, that's Planeswalker. Gifts ungiven. Well, the unburial rights was in that pack, so we can get both of our lands with both of our lands. That's correct. That is correct. Worm Coil Engine is basically the Planeswalker of creatures. Uh, there's no stipulation currently. We're just having a good time. Having a good time. I think it's actually just Worm Coil Engine here. Wrath of God will probably table. One thing you guys overestimate is the cards that will table. Or underestimate, I guess. 
one thing is you guys you guys don't look you guys don't wrath of god's tabling is what i'm saying that's what we're getting at here oh robert nixilis from accounting <laughs> oh good times good times i'm gonna take old robbie bobby i think yeah i think so that seems great Stomping ground. S romper stomper ground. Some simulacrum also pretty good. Yeah, we'll take the Solemn because we can go turn two Signet into turn three Solemn into turn five Karn. Marsh Flats. I like Marsh Flats. Probably better than a Sulphur Falls just because of its versatility. Nissa also pretty good here. Nissa also just searches for. I think we can get. The, I think we can take the Nissa and then wheel either Marsh Flats or Sulphur Falls. Plus, Nissa is card advantage that also finds us a land, which is great. Uh, I like Isolated Chapel, especially because our deck is primarily black-white. We don't need to be five-color, but we have no reason not to be. We have a Breeding Pool, a Verdant Catacomb, a Flooded Strand, and an Azorius Signet, which is four blue sources already, along with a Solemn Simulacrum and a single island, so we already have six blue sources in the deck. Colagon's Command is pretty good. The problem, my biggest, the, I think the best mode on Colagon's Command is getting a creature back, and we don't have that many creatures. Actually, we have four right now. I'm going to take the Co-Command. The co Co-command. Old man, look at Mike's life. He's a lot like you. Ooh, flats. James, are you behind? I feel like you're a little bit behind right now. Oh, Celestial Colonnade. Ooh, Celestia Signet. Ooh, Eternal Witness. Ooh, Maelstrom Pulse. I'm off the Colonnade just because we don't have a ton of blue cards. So despite all the blue fixing, we don't really have... We don't need a blue land. I like Signet a lot. I, I don't mind overloading on Signets here. Also, Eternal Witness is great to get back a Planeswalker. I want to take the Signet, though. Uh, Wooded Foothills. Oh, Morphe Boy. Oh, Morphe Boy. I'm going to take the Wooded Foothills here. We have a Breeding Pool that we can already get, and if the Stomping Grounds comes back. <laughs> oh, good times. Because you deserve it and more. Valtrek, Valtrek, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. Is there a stip? Sorry, no. There's no stip. Add com stip. No current stip. Uh, we're just having a good time. Having a good time. Could be a Johnny Vengeance. Could I don't know if it's Garrick Primal Hunter. That guy seems a little bit aggressive. Maybe. Settle the wreckage. Interesting. I don't think we want another six or seven drop. Like, we have a bunch of cards at the top end. I would much rather take one of the Planeswalkers. I want to take the Garrick. Oh, and we get a four drop. Uh, Wow, and the Wrath came back. Jeez, Louise. I don't think we need Delta. I think it's either Wrath or Nahiri. I think it's Nahiri. Nahiri does more, and there are a bunch of more Wrath effects that we could get. I think it's actually cast out here. It could be a Johnny. I'm going to take the cast out. Stomping Ground came back. Loving life. Garrick? This guy's fine. 
Oblivion sounds a little scary because it kills our planeswalkers. Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot. I wish, why is this Neil Young song stuck in my head, dude? Oh, Isolated Chapel and the Mana Confluence come back. I'll take the chapel. Although Isolated Ch or, uh, Mana Confluence is quite good with breeding, with uh, Reflecting Pool. This deck's looking gas. Uh, Demir Signet and Golgari Signet. Just keep on rolling with the Signets. Not to be confused with Rolling with the Homies, which is the song that was in Clueless, the motion picture. So, a little bit of Clueless trivia there. A Paul Rudd movie. It's more Alicia Silverstone movie, but it's still a Paul Rudd movie. I think Bitter Blossom is actually pretty good here because we don't have a lot of creatures. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a signet on the wheel. I'm going to take the Bitter Blossom. We also have a bunch of life gain stuff, I think. And also we have Soren, which can make Emblamos. Emblamos, huh? Mi amo Emblamos. That means my name is Emblamos. It's Popcorn Bag. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to take Vivian Reed here. That is a card that I like. It's muy bueno. Also, that time warp might come back, but I don't know if we're in the position to take a double blue card. That's just my thought. <sighs> That's a good Garrick. That is a good Gary. Oh, I like Chromatic Lantern here. Is Chromatic Lantern the pick? My name is We Speak? Is that what I said? I think I blacked out. I feel like it's Lantern here. Also, Garrick Apex Predator. Oof. Making me choose between my two faves. A Mike's Resist. <laughs> oh, boy. There's also 23 cards right now. It is Ashiok. That ain't no joke. Ooh, Overgrown Tomb? Look at all, I want all these lands. I think it's Overgrown Tomb, right? I would really love a blue fetch. Oh, we have a blue fetch land. We can get Overgrown with uh, Wooded Foothills and Verdant Catacombs. Yeah, it's it's Overgrown Tomb. Oh, Abrupt Decay is not. Oh, Rakdos Signet? Hmm. That is a good one. That is a good one. I don't care about the Abrupt Decay, really. I do. But I think it's Rakdos Siggy. I can also see cutting Sarkon here. Also cutting Nissa. She ain't that great. You ain't that hot, Nissa. I'm gonna take the abrupt ticket because I think we're getting one more signet in this in this draft. This is 23, 26, 36. So in three packs we'll have our first pick again. Yeah, but three signets isn't enough. We want four signets. I want all the signets. That was a weird face I made. Did you like that? It makes me uncomfortable doing it. Oh, this is the good Nissa. Nissa, look at your life. You're a lot like me. I don't know if she'd great she'd be great in this deck because we have actually we have Overgrown Tomb, Breeding Pool, and Stomping Ground. Those are all forests. 
Eh, I don't care about anything else in this pack, really. Maybe Forsake the Worldly. Hmm. I don't think it's Battlement. I'm going to take Forsake for the sideboard. I like having this effect. Where's, where's a Vraska? I don't need a Vraska here. Pilgrim's Eye. Gideon Jura. Yikes. Ballista is obviously good. I don't know if I, I... I mean, like... I don't know. I feel like we have a lot of things to spend our mana on. I like Pilgrim's Eye, and I like another land here. I like a, a Clifftop Retreat as well. I actually think I want a, the land, not the cliff. I think I want the land instead of the Gideon. I'm tired of seeing you win all the time. Let's draft a deck that absolutely sucks. Worst card. We did that last time. We literally won two last draft. How dare you, Kerwit? How dare you assume that I win all the time? is this let's find out 10 i like it i want it all and i want it now i wish we had a creature like a good creature to get with nahiri we can get worm coil engine we can get worm coil attack for six then bounce it oh sun petal grove there's the signet we're looking for i like golgari signet because it lets us cast abrupt decay sun petal grove is nice i want to take the signet though that'll be our 20 third card if we don't find anything else rootbound crag it's just free land you don't gotta lie crag uh glacial fortress is nice i also do like zealous conscripts do we have any blue cards we have ashiok ashiok's our only blue card that's interesting. I think I'm going to take Channeler Initiate instead then, because of that. Don't love Liliana here. I'll take a Nighthawk, I guess. Wow, Raging Ravine. <laughs> well, Sphinx's Revelation, we could, uh, we could play that. We have the lands for it, I imagine. No, we actually don't. It's probably just Raging Ravine. Progenitor Mimic. All right. Last card. Oh, the Nissa came back. Wow. All right. Well, this is something all right. I like Channeler better than Azorius Signet because we only have one blue card. So this can also make blue, but it's also just a creature. Uh, we also have Kolagon's Command. Music Manly, welcome back. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Long time no see, sir. No see, sir. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. We could also just play Sarkon instead of Nyssa, which might be better. Yeah, I like that better, actually. Because we have enough, we definitely have enough red sources. Um, what else are we cutting here? Shut up and take my money. Hot dog sandwich. Have a dollar on me since I'm real. I disagree with you. I think you're history's greatest monster. I don't even know why you exist. Vampire Nighthawk can probably come out. God, one more cut, huh? Maybe I don't want to cut anything. Did you ever think about that? All right, I'm gonna add all these lands. <laughs> Jesus, we have a lot of red green lands. We have all four of them, I think. Rootbound, Stomping, Wooded, and Raging Ravine. Yikes! Except with the wood, Wooded Foothills gets a bunch of other things. It gets Overgrown, uh, Breeding Pool, Mountain. Do we want a mountain? I don't even think we want a single mountain in here. 
for two for actually we have Sarcom, but we still have a lot of red sources. We also have a girl signet. Alright, let's do one of these things. As usual, green is our highest. Green and black are equal actually. All right, so how many green sources do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Adam, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. I miss you, bro. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Love you. All right, so green sources we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going to include signets because they're it's fine. Nine. So. Probably two forests. We definitely want to be able to get one with Nissa, so that's 11. All right, red we have Flooded Strand. Can we get anything with Flooded Strand? Totes Hearts, Adam. Totes Hearts. Uh, no. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red sources. That is way more than enough. Way more than enough. I actually don't even think we want a, a mountain. We also have Chromatic Lantern and Gruul Signet, so it's utterly, really ridiculous amount black we have one mm -hmm, two three four five six seven uh blue do we need a blue source yikes maybe it seems like it's hard to oh, we actually can't search for it though we have channeler initiate too let's not forget so we have channeler flooded strand chromatic lantern Verdant Catacombs, Wooded Foothills. It's actually five sources of blue. That's actually not terrible for one blue card. White, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, seven, eight. I think this is actually fine. And I'm just going to play it at 41 because I'm actually a maniac. And I just have no desire to cut one more card. Da, da, da. Just cut the worst card. How dare you? Make sure I didn't miss anything crazy. Yes. Beautiful. Keep turn two Bitter Blossom into turn three Nissa. Or Chromatic Lantern and then turn four Sauron. Yeah, buddy. Unfortunately, we don't have a white source, so if we want to do the the Sauron. Does this hide the chat message? I don't think so. <laughs> this is my second draft today. Our first one, we went to a... Uh, I was in your hat in your chat but I just left I appreciate that alright I appreciate that you're there and that you left both of those things are appreciated I wanna win and I want it now could you cut Mike he's probably asleep so it would be easy wow he's actually at work right now thankfully he did go in a little late though cause that's just how he does pretty sure I showed you my deck actually did you? Huh. Did you link it? I'm not gonna check because I don't I don't do that. <laughs> Tuna melts? No, I'm good because I don't eat that I don't eat I don't eat fish. But I do appreciate the offer nonetheless. I'm at work at a tech company and the internet is slow. That's oh Jesus. Oh Jesus.
Bitter Blossoms. Also, Soren with Bitter Blossom is pretty epic. Look at all these red green sources we have. It's pretty amazing. Um, we're going to take two here, which is probably going to be the death of us. If we go Signet this turn, we'll have four. We can use three of it to play a Lantern. It means we'll have two. Yeah, there's no way to do that. We want to play Soren next turn. Start making vampy boys. Oh, we can also play Signet and then play... No, we can't. Because even if we hit a land, like we'd have to use one of the two black or white to activate this. Well, I guess, no, if we hit a land, we can. We did not hit a land. Hmm. That is sad. We could play Nissa and we've got a land. One, two, three. And then play Gruul Signet. It's not terrible. Alternatively, we can play Gruul Signet, play Nissa, get a land, and then play the land. Is there anything going on in the chat? You guys are going crazy right now, and I don't know what I'm missing. I feel like you guys are... We can also play Sarkon. We can do a lot of things. That... No, we can't. We can't play a 5-drop here. We can play Soren. And I feel like a Life Linky Boy is relevant, but I also feel like... I kind of want to keep my land drops going. Hitting your lands in the game today takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to make your plays? Sometimes you want to go where everybody makes their plays. This is Cheers. You guys, you guys know Cheers? You want to go where everybody makes their plays. We're trying to break the system. Stand by. <laughs> Cheers sucks. Wow. Jesus. Who hurt you? Was it Sam and Diane? Ugh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. I think we're just going to play Soren and kill the Gonti. And by Soren, I mean Sarkon. You know what I'm saying. All right, now we're even. We're just going to play Aaron Sorkin and, ha and, and hack the planet. Look at all these memes that I'm mixing together. Oh my god. <sighs> Shit, Frank. Love you. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is great. This is just great. All right, so we got a green, and a, now we're going to go black, and then we're going to go blue, and then we're going to play a Ashmiok, which plays around Spell Pierce. We're going to exile some crads, and then we're going to go uh, black, white. Wow, Coalition Relic is MVP. They're going to Spell Pierce this. They didn't, they didn't do that. I'm going to make a 1-1 one, one Vampy Boy. And then we're going to get in there again. Hold on a second. Everything in the commands doesn't actually show up on the screen. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. Wow, you guys are... Wow, you guys are next leveling things. That's super impressive, man. Everything in brackets doesn't show up? Wow, that's crazy, dude. 
I wasn't reading the like I wasn't looking at OBS over here. I was just listening to you guys and you know doing the deed. Are we just do we just emblem here? What is this? one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then we activate this boy. We activate one one ragey boy. This is my friend ragey. Coming at you with my planes of walkers. Got them with our planes of walkers. Now this <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. This is amazing. So for those who are watching on YouTube, uh, this is actually what's happening right now. Oh god, well that's not, but... Like, they'll put, like, begin the revolution, my comrades, nothing to see here. But then in the chat up there, it just says nothing to see here. So they've been typing all this nonsense here. And, uh... And it's like... <laughs> and, like, it's just ridiculous. And I'm just like, no one's ever gonna know. <laughs> well, I guess it's like... Because unless you actually... Because when you watch this on YouTube, nothing's going to make any sense. It's literally going to be like a schizophrenic skirt stream. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. This is amazing. Uh, I don't know if this is good enough. Like, we just have to make a cut somewhere. I think all our other planeswalkers are better. Oh, is this a turn three slashy arc? Boy, is it. Well, butter my Ashiok biscuits. Trails. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You guys can't see this chat. It's just unbelievable to me. I thought we were going to get Breeding Pool. Well, we're definitely not getting planes. So, Breeding Pool it is. Signet, Signet, Signet. That was not a Signet. We do need a second white here for this Gidgen, though. Oh boy, that's a dude, isn't it? That's a dude, isn't it? Uh, blue, black one. And your husband... <laughs> oh, I can't tell if that showed up. Did that show up? I don't know. No creatures? Three lands, huh? Alright. Oh, Boros Signet Swamp and a Bloodstain. Are you five colors too? This is amazing. Well, that's not what we're looking for here. Give me all them things that you got under... Oh, Oblivion Stone, Selimgar's Command, and Oblivion Stone. Uh, I said that twice. Faith's Fetters, Oblivion Stone, and Selimgar's Command. Alright, well... I feel like they're one land away from... One, one black source away from... Uh, Ruinous Path, Heroes Downfall, Face Fetters in the Graveyard, that's nice. So their deck is basically just our deck. It's brutal. Liliana and Dragonlord Slimumgar. Next time we can warm coil engine and then we can carn though, so that's okay.
We did get rid of a face fetters, which is nice. <laughs> All right. Do you live? No, you don't live. You're killing your own token to get rid of Ashiok. I love it. I love it. It does replace itself, but that's fine. Ashiok to Ashiok we stand. No Ashiok's no demands. Ashiok's a battlefield. This is unbelievable. I don't I can't even like this chat is unreadable. Troubles are all the same. You want to go where everybody knows your name. Well, we're definitely liberating things. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Do not counter my con. I'm going to exile your Bitter Blossom because I could get out of hand. And if you want to triple attack this guy, that's fine. I'll block here. Otherwise, you're just attacking with these three and I'll block and it's all good. Oh, a tapped one, eh? Hero's downfall? Ruinous path? Hero's path? Ruinous fall? Ruinous downfall? Path of downfall? Hero's path? I realize Colagon's command can get a, a Planeswalker card from your graveyard back. Oh, it's a hero downfall. That's fine. Probably gonna kill this guy. Planes. White source. That's a that's a red green source. Dang it. One, two, three. We can't get can't get a guy back. Don't want to destroy an artifact. Uh, I guess we'll choose you and you. Hope you don't counter it. Alright, it's dead. He has died. So now you have like four power on board. You have seven power though, if you have a spell, which I don't think you do. So I'm just gonna attack here because uh, eating monks and gaining six life is pretty strong. Four cards to two cards. One, two, three, four, five. If we can get uh, an Ugin and negative zero, that'd be pretty pretty baller. Uh, if we can get an Ugin in negative six, that would also be good. I don't know, I'm not as big a fan as of Ugin. That's a Verdant Catacomb. That's not an Ugin, believe it or not. Um, it's actually quite different. I don't think we have a white source we can get here because we don't have a Temple Garden or a, the Godless Shrine is already in play. Whew. All right. Well, you see, folks, this is what happens. Well, things are happening. Things are happening here. Played 41 cards, still getting a little flooded here. Ugin for six is still utterly insane. Come on, one time Ugin for six. Sarkon. I mean, we can go to five and attack Elspeth. Leave that up. And we have two red, huh? How do we not have two red there? There we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, three, but sixteen. It's 
a lot of damage. I think we have like one turn. That's a good one. Insta bloop. Yep, that's a good one. All right. Eugene, where you at, boy? Yep. Come on, I need I need the god the god of Eugene. Gonna search one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will shuffle though. Kapow. Land flippage. It's not it. It does let us play a Gideon though. Block, block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're not dead. Ho do do. Hodor. Three and four. This guy. Mm, create a dude. Come on, Eugene. Come on, Eugene. Come on, Eugene. Oh, I swear on you. You would nag zero. You'd wipe all the perms. You wipe those perms. Oh, I swear on you. Come on, Eugene. Come on. I need Eugene. Come on. I mean, we're going to gain six here, which is nice. Oh, I see. Wow, this is aggressive. Oh, I see. Everybody's coming out. Oh, everybody's doing their things. Boom, 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 boom. All right, well, yikes. Go to face. Oh, this is fascinating. As far as I can tell, Nissa should live here, which means we get two card draw, which is perfect. We do not get that after all. That's sad. I was excited. Come on. I don't have a card in my hand. Oh no. Come on. What can I do? Exile a thing. I guess we're just holding that. Can they kill us this turn? 23, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No. Not even close. All right. Wow, this game is a this game is ridiculous. <sighs> so. 
So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have like 12 mana, which is perfect because we get to play Nahiri, cycle the card we draw, and then see if it's a see if it's a Eugene. Alright, here we go. Two Eugenes. That's not a Eugene. Why are you not a Eugene? We use this one. And then we'll play this one. Play Nahiri. One more Eugene. I want a discard. Yes. You're not a Eugene still. The 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Still not dead. <laughs> I don't know why we're still alive. No rain soundtrack? No, not today. But people did seem to enjoy it. Oh, he's going to hit Eugene. Oh! Oh, the feels bad are so high right now. I have like feels bad through the roof right now. Okay, that's not a Eugene, but that does give an emblem. That's gross. Oh, that's vom that's vomitous. I think that probably kills us. We get two blockers. It's not ideal. Yeah, that's good. Yikes. We might not be dead. We have two blockers. I'm not going to do the math. I'm just going to block their biggest things. Uh, one, two, three, four. Block here, block here. This guy's going to die anyway. And those are the biggest things, right? Yep. So let's see if six life... 29 can they deal it nope by three let's see what the next card was ladies and gentlemen no no you no eugene anywhere in sight wow eugene why do you do this oh my god literally third card from the bottom welp see you later um, Jesus. I don't want to deal with... Uh, Progenitor Mimic actually could be insane because they have Grave Titan. That's pretty cool. I also like Azorius Signet over something else, like probably Gruul Signet. I think that's just a change I'll make in general because the white mana is more relevant than the other mana. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they definitely just... Because it was one of the bottom three. Which means it was in the top four, which is pretty hilarious. So their timing was, oh god, I hate having all the lands, but then only like, you know what, I'll keep this in the hopes that there is a land we can also cycle cast out to make sure we... We have two white here, which is nice for Gideon, but... Oh yeah, triple green? Sounds great, let's do that. Land? Oh, magical. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So we want a black and a green. Overgrown tomb it is. Come on, land off the top so we can Gideon. One time. Oh yeah, we're definitely dropping some frames here. Although I have no explanation for it. Now you must know. Oh. Marlene, come on, Marlene, do 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 do, come on. Do you just wait, Colgon's command? Make them discard a card? Ashiok just dies. Oh, we actually can't do that, can we? That's pretty bad. I'm actually going to cycle the cast out here. I really want to hit a land drop. No, we didn't. This is so brutal.
Oh, that's great. I'm having a good time. Just land one time. Beautiful. Best land I could ask for. This is just us drafting. Black, red, green. Perfect. What are we discarding here? Probably just worm coil again. Oh my god, I'm getting so irritated right now. Yep, they're just gonna literally ultimate Liliana because Liliana's a dumb card. So we could go one, two, Signet, and then activate these three to play Ashiok. It doesn't do anything though. They have one card in hand. We just have to. How can we play the worm with Ashiok? I don't understand what you mean by that. Oh, why not discard Ashiok? Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, it seems good. Oh, we're discarding him now. This is so dumb. Yeah, Little Lounge is Ultimate's next turn. It's like not even fun. Like, this is just stupid. Like, we've missed three land drops in a 17 land deck, so sure. I mean, I feel like if we just hit our land drops and play our spells on curve, like, it's probably not a problem, but, like, you know, they're playing things that we can't deal with, and they're able to deal with everything we play, so it's like, okay, you're just pretty far ahead there. What graphics card do I use? Uh, 1080 Ti.
that is not mine though. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm actually looking for my graphics card right now, so I can send it to you guys. Wow. Uh, this is actually 750 when I bought it, and now it's significantly more than that. That's that's what I'm using right now, the Amp Extreme. Uh, presumably due to Bitcoin mining, but that's insane. It's literally twice as much than what I paid for it. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, there's no updates on OBS. I check for it regularly. It's probably just a. It was, there's literally no memory leak. It was just a glitch. Like it probably just some process. And I'm pretty sure there's. N I'm pretty sure there's nothing going on right now. I haven't dropped any frames in them. It's forty-four kilo, forty-four uh, kilobyte bit rate. So. Wow, main deck disenchant on turn two. Hard to argue with that. Might have another sneeze coming. Also, I update my software regularly. Like, every other day, I probably check for updates on the things I use because uh, I just like things being updated. If they want to counter something, I'll let them counter this. But considering that went way too quickly, I don't think they're actually going to counter anything. Uh, I don't think it actually matters what we get. Probably just going to get a planes here. Because... I'd rather keep the forest in the deck to make sure that we have something to hit with Nyssa. I don't know what you guys like. You guys like open the tray and blow it. It hit the side of the Meon monitor. I actually don't know what you're rec recommending here because nothing's wrong. Like we dropped some frames for a split second, but it was probably just a Windows process or something. Like it's it's been done for quite a while now. Uh, pretty sure we're gonna block here, shoot this, but then we lose Gideon. I guess we can actually. Yeah, this is totally fine. So we can go ruinous path, Gideon. Leave them with a knight ally. And keep up abrupt decay. We could also go Garrick. Make a dude abrupt decay of this guy. Oh no, I got it. I got the uh, no, I got the reference. But I just feel like people are trying to su su suggest solution. Yeah, I get the cartridge reference. I just uh, it feels like people are trying to suggest solutions to a problem that's not existing right now. dear god all right so i don't know if i want to play this and keep and like play two of these guys block the getting abrupt decay this guy i think i do uh, three four sorino make a duder I hate you guys. All right, I like this because they're not coming at us with Gideon, so we don't have to deal with that nonsense.
fascinating. Well, land would be nice. We can Vivian Reed get rid of this. It's unfortunate. We're definitely just killing Gideon here. Oh, uh, I didn't kill Gideon because I didn't feel like I had to. Like, it wasn't a super big threat, and we couldn't actually do anything else that turn where I like keeping Abrupt Decay up in case they played something. And uh, being able to get a Planeswalker on the board. Like, if we hit a land drop there, it'd be great, because we went away from Ugin, which is nice. I actually don't want to get rid of the Conclave with Vivian Reed, because I'd rather just keep it in case we play Ugin. And then we can negative four. Yeah, I'm just gonna take four. They also have three cards. Not a tremendous amount of things. Land. <sighs> just don't even care about that. One, two, three, four, five. V read. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh. You're gonna resolve. Uh, now we're doing it. Now we are doing it. So now Eugene for negative four is nice, but you know, we'll see if that's any good. <sighs> Wow, that MTG shot is insane, barman. Ah. How nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go to one. How nice. Oh, we don't go to one. Oh. 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 So negative four. Kapao. Oh, that's a dude. That is a rambunctious gentleman. So we can go one, two, three, four, activate, and we can still play other things. So. Are we dead? We want to kind of empty our hand here, I think. So. Red, green, one, two. Activate this dude. So they're going to equip this five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, the life gain is relevant here. They do have to kind of kill Ugin or else they die. That's not how that works, is it? Sure. I think we just got a forest here. Yeah, I'm not taking any damage for that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. And the wolf. All right. <clears throat> oh, we can decay the sword. That's smart. That's good thinking. We only take five, six, seven. We take nine. We go to two here. That's pretty bad. 
yeah i didn't even think about that for some reason i don't know why i'm like i feel like i feel like this whole game though the abrupt decay has been pretty dead in our hand so it's like oh man i wish we could do something with this abrupt decay but i i'm thinking creatures and it's just for some reason I also think Grill Talk have been pretty tilted uh, in this draft for some reason. <laughs> so that's my excuse. It's not a good one, but it is what it is. Oh, that's good. They're not attacking. That's good. Monastery Mentor. Kitchen Finks. Kitchel Finkles. Thank you. Hodge Gulashi. Gift in a sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Wow, Channel Learn is a pretty bad top deck. They didn't equip this, which is fascinating. I don't think an emblem does much. Make a vamp. Uh, we cannot murder Ojitai with Garak. How do we murder Ojitai with Garak? Garak can only deal three. So we can play this, get another forest. I guess make another wolf here. I would like to play this, but I guess it's okay. We can go you and you for channel our initiate. Should have actually tapped cliff top instead of. Um, instead of rootbound crag I guess we need to yeah we could have went red green instead of green up that's our bad if the game comes down to one life I will accept that I mean, I felt like we were recovering. Like, I felt like we were in a decent position there. We had a couple live draws, and then they just kill us. 
because of Les Shorn. Which is just a blowout because it kills everything on our board. So. Uh, why Azorius Signet? Because we have no other ways to make blue mana. And we have plenty of ways to make green mana. Like, when we have, like, 11 green sources and literally, like, three blue sources and we want a turn two Ashiok, it's... Or a turn three Ashiok, rather. Uh, no way Signa is better than Lantern. No reality. No, no, no way. Being able to tap your lands for any color in this deck is in just insane. Should have decayed the Ojitai. Probably right. Probably correct. Um, what are we going to leave? Flood Strand. Well, let's get probably a breeding pool. We can get a godless shrine with a verdant catacomb and a stomping ground with the other one, so that's all the thing. <laughs> Drop step. Command's not working. Just the draft tip. Uh, do we have any other black source? I guess we don't need it. We have chromatic lantar now. Oh, we have Overgrown Tomb. We can get Overgrown Tomb. We can get Godless Shrine with this and then Overgrown Tomb with Wooded Foothills if we really need to. We're definitely getting Godless Shrine here so that our Clifftop Retreat comes into play untapped. I'm the best mod. <laughs> That's true. It's fair. This is where they disenchant. Lucky, 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 lucky. This is why you gotta get your lands and assume they have it, because they do. Vendillion click. Mm. No Vendillion click. Okay. Well, that's your. Disallow. Uh, after this league, I'm not sure. Uh, Scott, I'm not sure. I was going to actually take off and get some food after this, unfortunately. Uh... Wait, I didn't write that. Discard Forest. Get a Eugene. All right. Yeah, I was definitely... I wanted to do it as the first thing I did today, but um, you didn't get back to me, which is fine because, I mean, like, I responded this morning, so... Um, or this afternoon, whatever you want to call it. But let me know... Do let me know, like, in the email what day works for you because I can pretty much do it any day next week that's convenient for you. Uh, exciting weekend plans? No, probably watching lots of shows and movies and not doing anything. Nahiri, huh? One, two, three, four. Slalom. Okay. Resolves. Uh, we have a double black. We have lots of white. I want to leave the forest in here. Yeah, we're just going to get a swamp. Raging green and your move. Man, that was back when I had 200 subs. That was insane. What a time. 
to be alive. Slalom slim you slacrum. Did they miss a land drop? No, they did miss a land drop. What if I bop your little buddy? What are we getting with this? I think we were getting an overgrown tomb, but we don't really need it now, so we could get a stomping ground. No, actually, we could get an overgrown tomb. Am I streaming this weekend? Uh, I If I am, it's going to be impromptu. I don't have any plans to stream on the weekend. I just sort of do it if I want, if I, if I feel like it. Actually, don't even feel like discarding. Actually, we have so many things we could play here if we draw them. I don't hate that. I have no idea, but I'm one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just like there. There comes a point where like I trust you, and like uh, I feel like you're in the chat for the stream's benefit, and. Uh, Usually it's like there's a moment and then I'm like, all right, I trust you. You can, you can, you can do it. You can be the mod. Maybe this will give me a mod sword. <laughs> oh man, you're close, OMG Zora. You're real close. I feel like you're on the right track. <laughs> yes. I mean, we're close to just playing Ugin, right? I'm going to discard the... Actually, we're going to discard the Rupan Crack because I'm pretty sure we're going to hit land. What? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six lands and 23 cards. I'll discard the Forsake. Play a land. Um, Chandler initiates fine. We could actually put the counters on the Solemn Simulacrum if we wanted to. Draw a card. We're not going to do that. This also puts us in a position where like any land we draw can easily be discarded to Nahiri. The Mike Hypothesis. Happy Friday, buddy. How come they always got it and you always call it? I'd say you were psychic, but you normally only call your opponent's cards. This is a question I ask myself. I don't know. I don't understand it either. It's a it's a question that's it's a it's a question as old as time, my friend. Tale as old as time. Gideon on board. Beauty and the bees. All right, so this is nice because we can actually uh, negative eight Nahiri to search for a Worm Coil Engine. Attack for six and then go to game three. If we hit a land, we can also just play Ugin, which is nice. It's nice. <laughs> I was the only pig without one like five years ago. All right, well, let's search our library, yo. Worm coil, Nissa. Yeah, it's worm coil for sure. Illegal attack? Oh, all of them have to attack Gideon. Oh, that's sad. Well, mistakes have been made. Sure. And one, two, three, four. I guess I'll pay white. I'm a dude. All right. Yeah, we could awaken with path, but the thing is, like, um, I'd rather not waste the the awaken. Like, we have an onboard way to kill Gideon, right? And we can keep a card in our hand. So I'd rather just kill the Gideon naturally through creatures, and then not have to waste the card on it.
I eat pork. Congratulations. I'm sure we're all, I'm sure your parents are very proud of you. Immortal sub. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Boy, that sure is a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not sassing you. I just think it's a very weird thing to just proclaim that you eat a, a eat a specific animal. I eat yeah, fish. I like that's just strange to me. One Robbie's pork buck. Exactly. It's just a weird thing to say in the chat. Hey guys. Did you guys know about my pork? I eat it. That's cool, man. Congratulations. We're all very proud of you. Yeah, Immortal Sun's actually pretty much a beating here when he discarded Forsake the Worldly. That's something. I eat lamp. Wow. Do, 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 This is where the Sphinx is revelation and the game ends. Oh, I look at a mana. Pass. <laughs> I drink olive oil. <laughs> oh, boy. What's the play here, man? God, why can't I ruin his path this? Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, activate, then one, two, three, four, five. We're still like one short of. How big are you? Four, four? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. To settle the wreckage? Oh, crying out loud. Six cards, they didn't play anything. It's either Settle the Record or Sphinx's Revelation. I'm not sure which it is. Condescend. Sure. I don't think it's lands because they wouldn't have missed infinite land drops. Like it's turn 10, 4, 5, 6, 7. They're not going to have three lands. They're going to have infinite lands and miss three land drops. We can also ruin his path one of our own planeswalkers for an extra guy. Oh, man. This game is hard. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's actually funny because we can't actually activate you. God, this friggin' card, man. Put you to one. We're playing around subtle here. And repeal. Okay. One less land in the deck. Uh, do we just flip her? I don't think so, I guess.
I'm going to actually kill this guy. We don't need the mana, and I want the extra card. Yikes. I mean, they're at 17 cards, so they lose the game in eight turns. Can we keep up? I don't know. <laughs> yep. What are the odds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cast out. Oh, buddy boy. So we can play land now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh. One, two, this is also, both of these are seven, so we literally can't do both, which is really sad. I'm going to actually do this because I feel like this has a greater likelihood of getting countered if they have a counter. And they do. Which is why we do what we do. One, two, three, four. We're actually gonna plus Soren because even though the guy dies, we still get an emblem. Or we still get a we still survive an attack. Uh discard a card and draw a card. Not gonna do that. I'm good. Disenchants in the graveyard, which is nice. Hopefully an old like snapcaster to get that back. <laughs> I hate that Nahiri has like an exile and enchantment ability or an artifact ability. Well, I guess you can never exile the immortal sun. Six. Torrential gear, I'll get disenchant. Oh my god. What time is it here? It's East Coast, so it's five o'clock. Yep, pretty sure there's actually no way we can win when most of our creatures are planeswalkers. Most of our win conditions are planeswalker planeswalkers. Yep, that's cool. This deck is garbage. That did not seem like a close one at all. It felt like we were way behind at all points of the game. Let's see if we can actually win one here. What up, Billy? Good seeing you, pal. Um, this hand's actual garbage. You know what? Sure. 
get a breeding pool and we can actually ca cast an Ashiok. Yeah, I'll keep you on top as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know why the notifications are muted. I didn't do anything to them, so. So we actually have to go, well, I don't know if we can go any land. I guess we can use this to activate. Well, it doesn't matter. Just play you black, blue, and then Ashiok and do a thing. All right. What did we hit? Compulsive research and two lands. Seems good. I didn't even know there was a pile command. Oh, oh, that, that's gas. That command is good. Is this a pile? Is this a pile? Like, that still gets me. I'm like, but all these cards are made. Consecrated Sphinx. If we had a red man, I'd be on board because then we can play Nahiri, but. Let's hope Garrick resolves with their five cards in the blue deck. Unlikely. Yeah, never happening. Romana, maybe? Nope. Never didn't have it. Oh, they never didn't have it. This is a song about how they never didn't have it. I don't know what's going on in chat. Chat is so hard to keep up with today. You guys are insane. Red mana. No. Can we just actually win through this Ashiok? I don't know. Is it better to just play Nahiri? I don't. I also don't know that. I'm probably gonna go get some tacos because I got three new sauces in today. I got some got some heat in this hot one sauces, so I want to go pick up some tacos and eat them. I don't know what to do here. Like we could go monastery mentor into signet, which gets us a dude. Eventually, we can play Nihiri. They could also attack, just attack Ashiok next turn for four. I'm gonna keep exiling. I'm not super disallow. Well, that's nice that you don't have that, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Wow. I totally just got demonetized from Rebecca back, Rebecca Black's Friday. Uh, got him. You didn't you didn't get anybody, you monster.
How did our other deck do so well? And this deck's like... Oh, God. Literally can't actually do anything with Monastery Mentor other than have it die. The most Ash Shock is doing this game is seeing what our opponent has. Can I see your deck? So, sure. You're going to deal one to the Initiate, two to Ash Shock, six to Ash Shock. Yeah. No point in playing that. This is rough. They only have 11 cards in their deck. We could win. We could win that way if they didn't have, you know, three cards in hand and an Inferno Titan on board. Yep. Ashiok has died. Well, no cards in hand. Streaming late tonight? No, I will be actually leaving after this to get some food. Seems good. How about an Ugin? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about an Ugin and negative five? And still lose to Colonnade. A forest. I will concede and go to the next game. Lucas Games, have a good night, buddy. Uh, no modern blue black. It's so it's a it's a commission from Dalkery. So uh, I was going to play it when I first started, but I wasn't. Sh I wanted to make sure he was here for it. So all right. So Forsake can definitely come in here. Initiate hasn't been huge for us. We also have four Signets and a Chromatic Lantern. We're almost tempted to take out a land. Like, specifically, a Rootbound Crag. Maybe this is a 16 land deck, which seems weird, but, like, we have four Signets and a Lantern, like, and a Solemn Simulacrum. And a Nissa, which finds us a land. Yep, keeping this for days. <laughs> yeah, Mike B is single. <laughs> so tell your friend he's looking to mingle. I actually don't know if he's looking to mingle. I can't. I can't. Uh... You know what? Shut up. <laughs> Got him. All right, this is how we win the game. Also, both of these come to play untapped thanks to this Godless Shrine, which is just muy bueno. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oops brackets. Dear God, man. What's wrong with you people? I'm actually going to exile this. We can get Nissa back. Did you guys know that? Ain't no Nissa back, girl. That doesn't make any sense. That's not even a good meme. How many two-win counter spells you got? Are we going to game three? No. Yikes. All right, well. Single and ready to surprise Pikachu. Dear God, man. Actually, we're going to get this Nissa back, and then we're going to uh, kill their thingamajig. Turn a creature from our graveyard and destroy an art. Oh, the game just ended. All right, well, I guess we're not going to do that. Wait, hold on. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, actually, if we attack with Raging Ravine, this game is pretty close to over. So that was a good time. Everybody, everybody both sides played hard. They have Consecrated Sphinx and Inferno Titan. I kind of want this in the deck now. Deck is funny because I like all the individual cards. I think Gideon's probably one of the weaker links. I got to run to pick up my kid. Let me know if Monday at 2 works. Yeah, Monday at 2 works great. We can do that. I think uh, I will let you know if anything changes, but yeah, we'll tentatively do Monday at two. One mingle buck. Really? Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. I will keep this hand. This is a turn two, turn three. Uh, Sorino. So we have red. We have, uh, we don't have black. Got a water or grave would be great. We need, we need a black source here. Well, that answers that. So we're going to play you, and we're probably going to get a breeding pool with our Verdant Catacombs so that we have access to all the colors. Party Sorens in the house tonight. Party Soren? What the hell does that mean? I mean, they're going to counter it. It's whatever. Sure. Next time we can go land Signet Nissa. That's all just fine. Everything's fine. Oh, yeah. Main phase that, dude. Hey, want to come out for coffee? Yeah, sure. I love coffee. Here you go. I brought you a cup of something hot and steamy. What is that? <laughs> oh, what does this even mean? All right. So we're going to go one, two. Azorius Signet, Land, Nissa, Flip Nissa, not Flip Nissa, I don't know why I said Flip Nissa there, one, two, three, next time we can go play this, get a breeding pool if we still want to, and then also play Worm Coil Engine, which is nice. Ojita, here is by Ojit. That's actually fine, all we have in the deck is like, literally the only creature I think we have is like Blade Splicer and... Progenitor Mimic? It's not great. I don't even think... I don't even think, actually... I don't know if Blade Splicer's in the deck, actually. No, we don't even have Blade Splicer. <laughs> like, oh, they're going to get Solemn Simulacrum, I guess, which is not super impressive for a bribery. Progenitor Mimic? Copy Nissa. But you don't even have Forests, right? How's that better than Solemn Simulacrum? You're getting a Solemn Simulacrum... Seems pretty much better. Can we get a red source? I don't think we have a blood crypt, and I don't think we have a we have a stomping ground. 
Uh, that actually seems better, getting a Planeswalker on the board when they have no pressure. Do, do, do. And this is what I mean about the... Uh, that's pretty cool. Two and one. Wow. Holy Jesus. That's amazing. This is what I mean about Briber being not great in the modern cube. And that was utterly insane. That's also utterly insane. That was so much better than cast out here. Peace out, bro. I make a dance. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Long time no see. That's basic. All right, they have three cards. We have one card. We have an Obnixilus and a Solemn Simulacrum. I'm up to cube 10 on the YouTubes. That's catching up. That's close. All right, Baby Jace. Baby Jace. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me get rid of my cast out. <clears throat> it seems good. Why is Jace tapped? Oh, they Conclave Tribunal. Sure. Yep. Enjoy your two cards, I guess. Oh, that's very good, though. It's actually really good. Holy smokes. Oh. Abrupt decay. Chromatic Lantern? Ain't nobody got time for that. A uh, Meta Leak. Oh my god. They never don't have it. It's unbelievable, dude. It's, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. I don't know. Maybe like I mean like there is a there is some there is some argument to just being able to like wait a turn to play Jace or to play Warm Coil Engine just so they can't counter it's a blank of mana leak if they have a mana leak but I mean like then they have to have a mana leak so I don't know. Oh, they made mana. Gotcha. Two, three, four, one, two, three. So they have six mana total right now. Their graveyard's not great for Jace. Like, they can bribery, but they know we don't. Like, I don't think we even have any creatures left. And the rest are just either counter spells or a sleight of hand. Frost Titan? <laughs> Seems pretty good. By forge, I assume you mean key forge. Don't be a land. The sad thing is, I don't even want like a. Uh, Karn is probably better than than Ugin here, because if we Ugin, we they get back. Yeah, it's of course it's a land. I'm gonna play it, get a breeding pull back so that we have one fewer lands in our deck.
Forge? I have no idea what Forge is. You're gonna let me crack this land or what, man? Quit playing around. Huh. One, two, three, four. Let's just keep making dudes. Great a Wolferino. So they get to exile a card with Chandra. They get to draw a card with Ral. And they get to draw a card for the turn. So that's four cards a turn. Let's see what they put in the graveyard here. And is it Signet? Serum Vision. I guess that's what they took. <laughs> Presumably. One on the bottom, one on the top. All right. Well. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, God. It's got to be Nahiri, actually, right? Do they really want to draw two more cards when you have nine in your deck? I don't know. Probably. You'll probably kill us before that. Is this unplayable only for me? I can't even pass priority. Mm. Oh, that was like two minutes ago. I don't know. I, I could not say. That's an interesting choice when I have Nahiri on board. Oh, we just win the game. That's weird. I have no idea what just happened, but I'll take it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That deck did not end up as good as we could have expected, but... Uh, I think we definitely needed some card draw and some more, uh, some more beefy creatures. Even the Planeswalker deck needs beefy creatures like Inferno Titans or Grave Titans or Consecrated Sphinxes. Just things that can win the game. And uh, while we did have Warm Coil Engine, once it was gone, it was gone. But anyway, feel free to check me out on Twitch and Patreon if you want to support the stream outside of YouTube, outside of just watching on YouTube. You can check both of those links out there in the description below. And if you need some new clothing, some new underwear, some new lounge pants, onesies, shirts, socks, whatever, you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, link is in the description below. You'll get 15% off with my affiliate link along, along with free shipping and free returns. And it helps the stream out. It helps you out. And uh, we both win. And you probably need that stuff anyway, so be sure to check it out. Really appreciate the support. I will check you guys next time. Thanks for watching.